Finally, the detailed specifications of Sony's new masterpiece, the PlayStation 5 Pro, have been revealed. Renderings are 45% faster, and ray tracing is between two to four times faster. The new PSS, a technology which Sony has used for the first time in the PlayStation 5 Pro, will now be the basis for all Sony consoles. Only a small amount of the differences between the PlayStation 5 and the standard version of this powerful and popular console will be present. Stay tuned. Hello, friends, I'm Orish, and welcome to the IATech Global Channel. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos from this channel. Without further ado, let's move on to Sony's new giant, which is set to surpass everyone, especially the Xbox Series X, and with its unbelievable power, mesmerize everyone. Stay tuned with me. Based on the information provided by Game Insider and Mr. Tom Henderson on behalf of Sony's designers, expectations are that this console will hit the market by the end of 2024. With its design and production already completed, and Sony is busy with its mass production. Regarding the CPU of this device compared to the standard version, it has received upgrades, but it still uses the Zen to CPU base. The CPU of the standard PS5, namely Zen 2, is a combination of technologies customized by AMD and Sony. This processor includes 8 execution cores with a variable maximum frequency of 3.5 GHz. It also uses a DNA2 architecture for the GPU, which has 36 computing units called CS and operates at a frequency of 2 points to 3 GHz. In other words, the PS5 processor is designed by AMD and produced in collaboration with Sony. This powerful processor with 8 Zen to cause an AGPU based on our DNA to architecture takes the gaming experience to a new level. Based on the provided information about the PS5 Pro, in the PS5 Pro, all CPU frequencies have been increased by 10%. The device's GPU has been upgraded from Redna 2 to our DNA 3, boasting 60 computing units CUS. This enhancement has significantly boosted the GPU power from 10.28 to 33.5 teraflops. Ray tracing is an advanced technology that has had a significant impact on the world of gaming. This technique utilizes light to create more realistic visual effects in games. Some of the modes used in ray tracing include Reflections, simulating how light reflects off surfaces, creating accurate reflections of objects and environments. Shadows, calculating how objects block light sources to produce realistic shadows with varying degrees of darkness and softness. Global illumination, mimicking how light bounces off surfaces and illuminates the surrounding environment, resulting in more realistic lighting effects. Ambient occlusion, enhancing the perception of depth by simulating how ambient light is blocked or occluded by nearby objects, creating subtle shadows and shading. Refraction, modeling how light bends and changes direction when passing through transparent or semi-transparent objects, such as glass or water, creating realistic distortion effects. These ray tracing techniques contribute to a more immersive and visually stunning gaming experience by accurately simulating the behavior of light in virtual environments. In summary, ray tracing makes games appear more all realistic and beautiful. This technology is specifically used in next generation consoles like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. In the PS5 Pro, ray tracing is two to four times faster than the standard PS5 when combined with the new the DNA 4 technology present in the PlayStation 5 Pro, they create an incredibly powerful experience. Taking this set of advancements into account, the speed of the PS4 Pro is approximately 45% faster than the standard PS5. Yes, you heard it right. It's like comparing a console 
to its previous generation when we talk about that 45% increase. When the PS5 already boasts such incredible power, just imagine how monstrous the PS5 Pro would be. And yes, indeed, when we talk about that 45% increase, it's like comparing the performance of the PS5 to its predecessor, the PS4 Pro, which demonstrates a significant leap in power. Considering the advancements made in the PS5, it's clear that the PS5 Pro is poised to be an absolute powerhouse. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps me reach more viewers on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Sony's new console has been greatly enhanced and empowered by its new technology, PSSR. With PSSR, Sony has significantly improved the graphics quality of games in a major move. So, what is PSSR? PSSR, or PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, is one of the exciting features of the PlayStation 5 Pro console. This technology utilizes machine learning and artificial intelligence to dramatically increase the frame rate and image resolution of games. In summary, higher resolution, PSSR brings an improvement in game resolution, meaning an increase in image clarity and player experience. Enhanced ray tracing, the ray tracing capability has also been improved using PSSR with up to a 4x increase. Goal of PS5 Pro The primary goal of creating the PS5 Pro console is to enhance the gaming experience with higher quality and better realism. By utilizing this technology, the PS5 Pro console has been able to elevate the gaming experience to a new level. Until now, technologies like FSR 2 and FSR 3 developed by AMD were being utilized. However, in a revolutionary move, Sony has introduced its own proprietary version, PSSR, leveraging artificial intelligence to the fullest. Its performance has been so impressive that it has become the base for all consoles moving forward. From now on, we will see all Sony consoles, including next-generation ones, equipped with this technology. Here's something you might not have heard before. I'm not here to compare Xbox with PlayStation. In the Xbox Series 10, there was a more powerful CPU and a stronger graphics card, with its GPU power reaching 12.16 teraflops, compared to the PS5's weaker CPU and 10.28 teraflops of GPU power. This resulted in higher FPS in graphically demanding games like Alien Wake 2 and Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, both running at 4K resolution with claimed 120 FPS featuring busy scenes with lots of motion and character actions. However, both consoles experience frame rate drops, with the PS5 seeing up to a 30% higher drop than the Xbox Series X. But now, thanks to the powerful CPU of the PS5 Pro, its high-performance graphics card, and the advancements like FSR 3 and PSSR, it easily runs games at 4000 with 120 FPS, without frame drops. Moreover, it can handle 8,000 at 60 frames per second without any frame rate drops. Nowadays, many of you are asking me, what's the use of AI in PlayStation and gaming? We don't want to chat with our consoles or ask them to make movies or photos for us, or even write programs. But in reality, what we want is something else. One of the fascinating and amazing technologies mentioned in Sony's documents is dynamic resolution, which is truly a masterpiece. You're asking me what this means. Let me provide you with an explanation. Previously, we had fixed resolutions, meaning games would run at whatever quality and resolution the console could handle. If it could handle it, the game would run at that resolution. Why were games remastered for the new generation? Because their quality resolution, and graphics needed to be higher for the new generation consoles. But imagine you have an old generation game that you really love. What happens if the game developer hasn't released a new version with improved graphics? Can you run it with its old, weak graphics? No, that's why Sony has incorporated AI into the PlayStation 5 Pro. Artificial intelligence enhances the graphics of old, low-quality games to the maximum extent 
your system can handle. During gameplay, you'll find yourself facing a game that seems to have been made specifically for the PS5 Pro, with the highest graphics quality possible. So, from now on, you'll be playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and a GTA 5, with incredibly high quality, making you think that Rockstar has released a new remastered version. Something amazing has happened here. With the help of AI, PSS or upgrades games to their maximum output quality, regardless of their input quality. Do you think it's cool? Let me know in the comments. Certainly. Here are the codder names for each console. PlayStation 5 Pro, Trinity, inspired by the concept from The Matrix. PlayStation 5 Pro Plus, Prospera, referencing a character from William Shakespeare's works. Xbox Series 10, Anaconda and Scollet were used during development. Xbox Series S, Lockhart, representing its lower spec variant compared to the Series X. These codenames were used internally during the development stages of the consoles. Here's a summary of the key advantages of the PlayStation 5 Pro that we've discussed so far, marking its debut in the market. A more powerful CPU, 10% faster than its predecessor. Rendering images 45% faster and up to four times faster ray tracing. Tremendous graphics power of 33.5 teraflops, surpassing any existing console on the market. Utilization of PSSR and artificial intelligence to enhance image realism. 45% faster speed compared to the standard PlayStation. Dynamic resolution and graphics improvement in games, regardless of their original graphics. These are the promises of the new era by Sony and PlayStation aiming to outperform all existing consoles in the world and dominate the market. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as a new video is released. And if you enjoyed the program, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube recommends it to more people. I entrust you all to the Almighty for a future programs.